watching Dave's TV. And now today, bringing you another beer review. Take it away, Dave. What's up, everyone? Dave from Dave's TV. Welcome to the channel. No man cave today. We are on the front porch. It's been a little while since we've been on the front porch. Just got done raining again. And uh, it's been a little humid out, but uh, it's cooled off a little bit. Just the humidity's way up there. Got another beer review. And uh, not sure where this one came from. And I got this from the 2024 Beer Tuber Get Together in Niagara Falls, Canada. And this is from Port City Brewing Company out of Alexandria, Virginia. So whoever went to that and brought this, please let me know in the comments so I can give you a shout out, at least in the description. I'm not 100% sure where it came from or who brought it, but this is their Mexican dark lager. And I've never had a Mexican dark lager. 5% ABV color is going to be like a chestnut. And that is what it looks like. So I've never had a Mexican dark lager. I've had some dark lagers, but not a Mexican. So this thing has been sitting out just for a couple minutes and it's already sweating really bad to get to it before it gets cold or cold before it gets hot. Dave, what are you talking about? Oh, uh, not as dark as I thought it was going to be. It is a amber color. Kind of swirl it around a little bit. All right. That news this cup in a while. The old Dave TV. Looks darker on the monitor than it does. Um, it's darker than a Mexican, a normal Mexican lager. I will give them that, but it's not a super dark color. It's just an amber color. An off-white head. So let's put a nose on it. Smells pretty darn good. I love Mexican lagers. Getting a breadiness, slight maltiness, slight sweet smell to it. That's about all I'm getting. Oh, wait a minute. A uh, smokiness to it also. Slight smokiness. Smells pretty darn good. I'm tired of talking about it, guys. And I'm tired of sniffing. Let's try it out. Cheers, everyone. One more. Wow, that's got a unique taste to it, and it's in a good way, not a bad way. Oh, out of there. You know me. I'm gonna whoever bought this, I'm getting your money's worth. If I was gonna go out on a limb, I would say Paul probably got this. Virginia's close to Pennsylvania from PA. I forgot his channel name, PA Brews or something like that. Beers. I'll put his information down in the description too. But Paul, let me know for sure. I'm gonna mention you in this video, so maybe it'll pop up. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he brought that. So there's a good look at it. So let me know, Paul. Get back to the beer. Man, cooled off a lot, man. It's still not cold or anything, but it's, not, it's better than 100 degrees. Right off the bat, you get a slight sweetness. It's not overwhelming. It has a slight smokiness to it. I like that. It's not a lot. It complements it. Got a medium mouthfeel. Carbonation is great in it. Overall, this is my first Mexican dark lager, to the best of my knowledge. I like this. I really like this. Got a, almost like a caramel taste to it. Man, I like this. I can drink a few of these. Five, what, 5% 5 ABV? I could drink a couple of these. I didn't buy it. But if I saw this on the shelf, you damn straight, I'd buy it. And I'd definitely drink it again if I'm going to buy it. So uh, two thumbs up. Scale of 1 in 10 being good. I'm going to give this an 8.9. My take on it, folks, before we get out of here, if you would, hit that thumbs up button. If you like what you just watched, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when Dave's TV uploads a video, leave a comment. Let me know if you've had one of these before, these uh, dark Mexican lager. And uh, please drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Cheers, everyone. Let's get a few thumbs up. We'll see you next time.